Hi, welcome to Anjurisa channel. Oops. Hi, welcome to Anjurisa channel. I'm Trisa and you can call me Risa. And today we are going to make a hebo with beautiful butterfly shape. Stay tuned. Before we make the hebo, I will show you how I draw the template. I'm using 5 inches square here, it's about 12 centimeters. And the size of our hebo will depend on the size of this template. So with the 5 inches squares or 12 centimeters square, I, I get the finishing hebo, it's about 12 centimeters too. So if you want to make let's say smaller hebo or larger hebo then you can use larger square fabric next after you determine which size you want to use then take the fabric and the fabric is folded in half and should be larger than our template so i'm just going going to draw the template on the fabric i'm using water erasable marking pen and this marker really convenient we can just wash it off with water after we draw the square pattern, we are going to sew the square shape. Make sure to leave an opening about an inch or two inches. Next, I'm going to use the same paper to cut it into cir circle shape. So fold the fabric in half like this. And fold the fabric in half again. And I will measure about the half size of my paper. It's six centimeters or two and a half inches and we just draw it after we get the shape here just draw it connect the dot to draw a circle shape next i'm going to cut this and remember when you cut a paper do not use scissors that's specially for fabric i will use another scissors to make a beautiful circle shape and you can see we have the perfect, a beautiful circle shape. The size of our square fabric and the size of our circle fabric should be the same. For example, if you want to make 15 inches hair bow, and then you will need 15 inches square fabric and 15 inches circle shape. Next, I will draw the circle to another fabric and it should be fold it in half with the right sides together and we are going to draw the circle shape after you finish drawing the circle shape fold the fabric in half and I'm going to mark this so I will leave an opening right here I know when to stop sewing we are going to sew this part you can see I leave an opening right here and here next we are going to cut the pattern remember that when you are sewing with corners or curve you have to clip the corner like this be careful not to cut through the thread cut all four corners and for the circle shape I'm just going to cut uh, right on the edge just cut it like this now turn the fabric right side out When turning a fabric, I like to use some pointy stuff like this. I'm using a painting brush here to push every corner. After we turn the fabric, I would like to press the fabric flat down. Just press it. Next, after we turn the fabric, after we turn and press the fabric, I would like to measure, uh, mark the center. Be, pay attention to this. The opening is right here. So I want to mark the center like this, not like this. So just mark the 
corner to corner and then the same thing with the circle I'm going to mark the, the center right on the opening here so just fold the fabric in half like this and draw the center of the circle after I draw the center of the circle I would like to fold the fabric in half like this to mark the center here now I will fold the fabric in half like this and place the exact straight line to the center here the corner meets the center of the circle and we are going to sew this part just to hold the fabric together we sew the fabric to hold the fabrics together now I'm going to gather the fabric from here to here gather the fabric just a little tight and secure the fabric cut the thread now we can have a beautiful butterfly shape now I'm going to attach our hair tie or hair clip you can choose your hair clip, hair ties and I'm going to attach this to the hair bow with hot glue gun of course I really like this butterfly shape next I'm going to attach the centerpiece and you can see here the size is about 12 cm by 5 cm it's what is the size in inches 5 inches by 2 inches and you can see here I fold the fabric to the center both sides to the center and then fold the fabric in half and this way I can hide the raw edges perfectly I'm going to attach it through the center here and we are going to sew the center piece for the last time to sew the center piece I always move my needle to the left so it gets really close to the hair bow to sew it cut the excess fabric and flip it over after we flip the center piece I will use my hot glue gun to make sure that the center, the center piece stays in place and there you go our beautiful butterfly hair bow is finished thanks for watching this video if you find this tutorial useful please give me a thumbs up and share this video if you don't just hit the dislike button and comment below about what you don't like see you in my next video bye